here with a very exciting video. You guys want to know why I'm so excited? You know why I'm so excited because you have seen the title and if you have seen the title then you know that I have finally, finally, finally got around to shooting my makeup collection video. Now I have been asked to do this video over and over and over and over again and so I have finally gotten around to doing it. I appreciate your request. Thank you for your video request. If you have any more video requests, leave them below. I love um, doing video requests because that means that you guys actually want to see what I'm putting out there so definitely leave me video requests down below but back to this video yes it has been requested over and over and over again and if you were not one of the ones that requested it and if you do not like makeup collection videos that is perfectly fine I have like 90 something other videos that you can check out um, just go ahead and exit out of this one and check out another one it's perfectly fine doesn't hurt my feelings um, I'm not gonna do that whole disclaimer thing if you don't like makeup collection videos again just exit out these are one of my very very favorite videos to watch I am always watching makeup collection videos because I love to get storage ideas and I'm nosy and I like to see what other people have. So if you're nosy and you like to get storage ideas and all of that good stuff, then definitely continue to watch this video. I'm going to make this video two parts because I don't want it to just drone on and on and on in one part. So this is going to be a two part video. So definitely make sure you check out this part, which is part one, and then also check out part two of the video. Um, I went through the drawers kind of fast as well because again I didn't want it to just drone on and on and on. So if you guys see a piece of my collection that you would like a more in-depth review on, like if you guys want a foundation collection video or a blush collection video or anything like that, then let me know down below because I would love to do it. I may just do it anyway, who knows. But I would love to do that type of video for you all. So anything you want to see, if you want to just see one drawer in depth, let me know and I will go through the entire drawer for you and put up a video. I promise. Um, anyway, I think that is all. I hope you all enjoy this video. I hope it's what you wanted. The makeup collection isn't hugely enormous, um, but it's not small either. It is more makeup than I will ever, ever, ever use, ever, ever, ever need. It's more makeup than anyone will ever use or ever need. Um, however, I like collecting makeup. I've been doing it for a few years now, like almost three years now. So I love to collect makeup. That is what I like to do. It makes me smile. Getting a new blush makes me smile, makes me happy. So it's, it's just what I like to do. Um, I don't work in the makeup field. I do my makeup and I do makeup for maybe friends or family members who ask, but... I don't work in the makeup field. I just like collecting it as a hobby. So, um, again, hopefully you guys can appreciate that and enjoy it. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Hope I didn't ramble on too long. But um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Bye. Hey, guys. It is Cece here with the long-awaited makeup collection video. And right now, I'm just going to give you an overview of my vanity area. This is where I sit down to do my makeup. I'm going to get closer, but I just want to give you an overview of it. And then I have some stuff on top. And these drawer sets right here, those white drawer sets. And then I have this last little area up top. And with that just has some lippies and an empty drawer. So we'll start with the vanity. Um, that table I actually got from Walmart like a year and a half ago. And um, I've been loving it. It's, it was only like 30 bucks. So it doesn't match with the white, but whatever. Like I said, it was like 30 bucks and um, I love it. I have those Muji drawers on top of the vanity. And those five drawers, those come from um, Muji.com. I'm sure you guys have seen those before. And then I have that little three drawer set or three, I don't know what you call it, the three stackable um, containers at the bottom there, the white containers, and those are just from Dollar General and those were like six bucks. And moving on to the big drawer set, I got that from Amazon.com. I believe you can also get it from Walmart.com. And if I can find links to this stuff, I will link it below. 
Everything else I will go through as I get there. All right, so here I am sitting at the vanity table, and I will just go through what's on top. That's me. Hey, guys, I have my bonnet on and everything. <laughs> but going back to this left section here, this section actually, like I said, houses the Muji drawers. And I just have some products on top that I like to reach for a lot, and also I have some lippies in there. So we'll go through the top and each one drawer by drawer. So getting a little closer, right here, right on top, I just have like little samples and I have my face moisturizer, a little spray bottle of witch hazel, which I use all the time, some pure minerals oil control lotion. I have my three mascaras that I'm using right now. We have some lip products back there, more moisturizer, just an acne treatment, um, more moisturizer. There are some Milani lipsticks right here that I'm trying out. My Urban Decay Primer Potion. I have my little sample of the Professional by Benefit. An e.l.f. Um, lip exfoliator and then a NYX Butter Gloss. Over here, I just keep an eye cream and also another lip gloss. Moving down to the front, I have my MAC. What is that? The Black Track. Um, fluid line, I have a paint pot, some lip butters here, another eye cream, and then just a hair scrunchie and a little bracelet. Moving on to the first drawer. In this drawer, I just keep lip products. Um, I don't know, just random lip products that I really didn't know where else to put them. Some of these are a little new that I like to use a lot, and some of them, I just didn't know where to put them. In the second drawer, these are products that I tend to reach for um, a good amount. I have some concealers here. I have the Rimmel and the Maybelline Age Rewind Illuminator and Concealer. I have some brow products, Anastasia Brow Wiz, which is like my favorite. Um, I have some NYX Nude Matte Shadows, some MAC concealers here, some more NYX shadows in there, a Benefit. Boing concealer, wet n wild powder, an all make concealer that I'm trying out. So all different things. In this third drawer, you know, I'm going to take these out. So in this third drawer, I just keep all of my lip pencils. There are various brands in there from Jordana to NYX to Ruby Kisses. Um... All different types. I have only one MAC lip liner. I have a Lorac lip liner. There's all different types, mostly drugstore brands. And then I have this small little chubby lip pencil in here because it wouldn't fit anywhere else. And then I have this Kate Moss lipstick in number 14. In the fourth drawer down, I keep other lipsticks. So these are a lot of my Revlon Super Lustrous lipsticks. Um, I have some more of the Kate Moss lipsticks, regular Rimmel lipsticks, um, some Revlon, the Balm, Rimmel, and then some NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams and the Lip Extreme Creams. In the last drawer of the Muji set, I keep some lip glosses and chubby lip pencils. So I have a Buxom Gloss here. This is an e.l.f. gloss. I think, yeah. And then I have some NYX glosses, Revlon. Um, Cargo, and then some Chubby Pencils by e.l.f., Jordana, Revlon, CoverGirl, Bare Mineral Lip Gloss, Lorac, all types of stuff in there. Moving on to the rest of the desk, I just keep some random things sitting right there. So I have some Soap and Glory Hand Food, a nice little hair oil here, and then the, it's in an Urban Decay D-Slick bottle, but it's actually the NYX Matte Finishing Spray. And then next to that, I have my eyeliners. So I have smaller eyeliners right here that may get lost in this container back there. I just keep smaller eyeliners in this little container. And it has like most of my Urban Decay 24-7 liners and NYC liquid liner. There's a, an Anastasia liner in here. All types of different, just small ones. Then here, this is where I keep my full-size eyeliner, so there are all different types in here. Um, I don't even know where to start. Maybelline, there is some Jordana liners in here, there's some Rimmel, some NYX, uh, this is a Smashbox liner, all different types, an Ulta brand liner, Urban Decay, all different types. 
Moving along, I have this little container. Oh, and this little container just came from the Dollar Tree. So I got this right at the Dollar Tree for $1. And this container up here, this clear container on top of the Muji drawer that's housing those lip products, those actually, where did that come from? I believe that came from TJ Maxx and it was like $10. But going back here, this little container just came from Target in their office supply section and it costed about probably about $4 or so. And I just keep palettes that I'm trying to keep at the top of mind so I can remember to use them. So I have my Anastasia Catwalk, a Lorac Croc palette, two of the Maybelline quads, uh, two Wet n Wild 6 pan palettes, Naked Basics, and then an e.l.f. concealer palette back there. Next to that, I just keep an e.l.f. daily brush cleanser, and that's just for when I am in between deep cleanings, I can hurry up and clean my brushes off if I need to use it again. And I just wipe it on this towel. I keep this nice handy towel on the vanity. And inside here is just a beauty blender dupe sponge. And then I this is where I keep my eye brushes that I'm currently using right now this week and my face brushes where I'm that I'm currently using this week. And then I just have a little double-sided mirror. It is so dirty. One side has the magnification and the other side is regular and it also lights up. And that one's by Revlon and I got it from I want to say Walmart. Then I have this mirror here. It just says, Be Silly, Laughter is Contagious on it. And it's really dirty, so sorry about that. But that mirror actually came from TJ Maxx as well. And I got it for like $6. So very, very cheap. Moving on to the drawer sets. That's how they look again. And we'll start with what's on top. The first thing that we have on top are lipsticks. So I just keep, um, in the back here, there is a 24 lipstick holder acrylic set here that I got from Amazon I want to say for like 10 bucks and it holds 24 lipsticks and this holder just houses my Wet n Wild Mega Last lip colors absolutely love these lipsticks if you guys haven't tried them two bucks can't beat them and I have three Fergie Wet n Wild lipsticks in here and the lipstick holder in front of it, this is just a 12 lipstick holder that I got from the container store. And I keep all of my MAC lipsticks in it, minus one because I have 13 MAC lipsticks and it only holds 12. It's missing one here too, but I have 12 MAC lipsticks and those get housed right there. Moving on to my perfumes. In this little bucket or a little container here which I got from the Dollar Tree. I just keep little sample perfumes that I'm trying to get rid of and use up. And then I have roller balls in this container here and this just came from the Dollar Tree and it has a Hello Kitty, Lady Gaga, there's a Travelo in there, um, Kim Kardashian, what is this, Dream Angels, Heavenly by Victoria's Secret, there's a Flower Bomb by Victor and Rolf. And then a clean skin body oil. In the back here, I have this little cup. And that holds little lip balms. And then I have my perfume tray right here with all of my bigger bottles. And this little tray just also came from the Dollar Tree for $1. It's a little serving tray. Starting from the back, I have a Victoria's Secret. What is this? Noir Sexy Little Things. Um, I have another Victoria's Secret Very Sexy, Victoria's Secret Warm Vanilla, and then I have another Victoria's Secret Body Spray that you can't even see back here, and it's called Fresh Vanillas. Moving on to the perfumes, there is a Lady Gaga. I have a, this is called Red by Saks, and the bottle is just so cute. I got it for my sister for Christmas. I have a Pulse by Beyonce, another Pulse little... Oh, that's this. A Pulse Little Body Spray by Beyonce. And then I have a Dream Angels Heavenly Body Spray. Victoria's Secret Gorgeous there. Um, what is this? Kim Kardashian. Another Victoria's Secret. Ooh la la. Gucci Guilty Black. Um, BB. Regular Gucci Guilty. I have a Rihanna right here. A small bottle. Two Gucci Guilty Intenses. As you guys can see, I love that perfume. Victoria's Secret Gorgeous, a small bottle, Victor and Roll Flower Bomb, Victoria's Secret Bombshell, and a DKNY um, bottle right there. Alright, so moving on to the first drawer, 
just going to open it up. And this is my eyeshadow drawer. So I keep um, all of my kind of loose and single small eyeshadow palettes in this drawer. And over here starting to the left we have, these are all of my chubby eyeshadow sticks. So I have some from all different brands. Ulta, I have some NYX, Alme, some e.l.f., Milani in there. There's all different types in there. I also keep some tape here just for when I'm doing my eyes. I like to have precise lines. In this little bucket here, oh I'm sorry, this container here with the holes in it, you can find that at Dollar Tree. And then this container here, they have these at Dollar General and I got those like on clearance for about 50 cents. So in here, if you can see that, there's just like some Wet n Wild Fergie quads, Elf, CoverGirl, a bunch of the Wet n Wild 3 pan palettes, um, an Elf trio. There's what else is down here? Physicians Formula Quad, some more Elf quads, um, a Clinique, L'Oreal, Maybelline, all different types in here. So NYC. Moving on to the side here, as you can see, I just kind of have some palettes shoved on the side. And these are different brands. This is Essence, which they have at Walgreens and at Ulta. Sorry guys, can't get it out. We have a NYX. 10 pan palette and then there is another palette shoved in there that I can't get out. I have three of these Wet n Wild uh, 8 pan palettes here, well one 8 pan and then these are the new ones that they came out with a little bit ago, just a few months ago. I have two of those and then I have two more of the 8 pans right here. And then on the side here I just have these Kardashian palettes and those are right there. Sorry if I'm a little shaky, you guys, but I'm trying to hold this <laughs> camera. Uh, moving on to these two baskets, which this one comes from the Dollar Tree, and this one back here also comes from Dollar General. But in the back, these are all of my Maybelline color tattoos. I have some MAC Paint Pots. I have a Makeup Forever Aqua Rouge or something in there. And these are just all of my cream products as well as my glitters and pigments. Like This is an e.l.f. pigment here. And in here are the single, just single eyeshadows. So I have some from Milani, CoverGirl, I have a Stila. There's an Urban, some Urban Decay ones in here. There's a L'Oreal Duo. All different types. Revlon, these are these Revlon links here. A Lorac shadow. So all different types of shadows are in here. And that's that drawer. 